praise the Most High God, my brothers and sisters. I come before you this day, September the 23rd, 2017. I have a, uh, I have a scripture read in the book of John, chapter 5, starting at verse 28. But first, let me start off by saying that, you know, praise God, we're still here. You know, um, many people uh, said that the Lord told them that the rapture would occur today. Uh, you know, that couldn't be further from the Word of God. You know, the Word of God tells us that Jesus said it in Matthew 24. In fact, he said that no man would know the day nor the hour. No, not the angels, only the Father. So when people start date predicting and date setting and things like that, we cannot listen to that because that's going against the Word of God. That's going against the very Word of God. The Word of God makes it plain and clear and simple. And he said that no man was going to know the day nor the hour. But we are to continue to be watchful. We do watch for the return of our Lord. And we know that, you know, Jesus told us that in the, this life that we were going to have tribulation. He told us that. He didn't say we were going to go through the great tribulation. I don't know. But I know and I, I thank God and I praise God that, you know, uh, that he will sustain us. He will continue to protect us and hide us. Is there a rapture? Yes, there is. Many of us have had rapture dreams and visions. I've had rapture dreams myself. So I will not deny that there is a rapture that is, in fact, going to take place. We just do not know the day nor the hour. Jesus told us to watch. He did tell us to watch. And he also said that if we didn't watch, that he would come and like a thief. Okay? He would come like a thief in the night. So we do have to be watchful and we do continue to look for our Lord. There have been many, many signs in the heavens, many signs that his return is, 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 is very soon. Now, we don't know how soon, but we know that it's very soon. I heard it in the spirit the other day that the birth pains were increasing, and they are increasing. Look at the things that are going on around us. There have been, you know, Jesus spoke of in Matthew 24, and that's the scripture that he had me in this evening. I was in the book of Matthew 24. You know, uh, we've earthquakes in diverse places. We've got... Uh, Famine, pestilences, we've got, we've got, uh, look at all the hurricanes, you know, all these major hurricanes. Look at Mexico, you know, with the earthquakes. Let's continue to pray for those folks who, who, the family members who, who lost loved ones. Let's continue to pray for the Floridians. Uh, they were affected by Hurricane Irma. Then, you know, we have those who were affected by Maria in the Dominican Republic, you know, Puerto Rico. Let's continue to pray for them and lift them up and pray that they have ears to hear what thus saith the Lord God Almighty. Because we know that God, there's been a great shaking in the land. The Lord has to wake people up and, and let them know because people are going on about their daily lives, not concerned about Christ. And a lot of them are, are not knowing that Jesus is, in fact, coming back just like he said he would. Many people don't believe, you know, you have the mockers and you have the scoffers, but they will soon see that Jesus is very much real and he is coming back for his bride. He will be back to get us. He will be, you know, so uh, we have no doubt in our minds, you know, he is the blessed hope and we do look for the blessed hope, you know, as in, in fact, he's, uh, um, He's what we have to, to, to hold on to and to look forward to because this life is getting harder and harder and harder. You know, the, the attacks, the spiritual warfare, you know, many of us are getting drained, spiritually drained, just weakened. But, you know, Jesus said that he would renew our strength. Glory be to God. If we wait on the Lord, he will renew our strength. So glory be to God. We don't do this in our own strength. We don't go out to witness and minister unto others in our own strength. This is not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We know that, 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 you know, uh, that father has raised us up as laborers to go out into his harvest. And we know that he has us prepared, you know, for those who think that they don't have enough word in them to go out and witness that is a lie from the pits of hell. Let me tell you, if that's the case, you'll never be ready. You'll never be ready. The enemy will constantly tell you that you are not ready and you are not prepared and you don't know God's word, but that is not the truth. If you, uh, 
meditate on the scriptures and you read the scriptures and not only read but study the scriptures you know uh the holy spirit will bring it when you're out there witnessing to others he'll bring it up out of your spirit and many times sometimes i don't have revelation of some things that i've read until he pulls it out of me and gives me the revelation later on hallelujah glory be to god so don't let the enemy tell you that you're not prepared if you know that you have been um you have been the lord has been been sanctifying you and he's been he's been uh um purifying you to go out into the harvest harvest and 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 you're studying the word and he's getting you ready and he's been prepping you and 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 consecrating you that was the word i was looking for consecration uh you're ready the holy spirit will bring it out of you he will pull it out of you and he is the one that's witnessing and ministering to 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 bring them in it's not you so when you're walking in the spirit and you're operating in the spirit, just know that it's not you. It's the Holy Spirit that's in you that's operating, that's speaking to the sheep, the lost sheep. Glory be to God. So I want to get right into this scripture in the book of John, you know, as we look for our Lord and, and be not deceived like Jesus told us, because there is so much deception roaming the earth in this time. The devil uh, uh, wants us to, to hang on to dates and, and rapture setters and rapture date setters. Let's continue to pray for them because a lot of them are going to say oh he's he didn't come again and and this will mark uh, uh uh the great falling away you know many will start to fall away because they'll say oh since the the fathers the fathers fell asleep you know um we've been waiting for the return of our lord and he's he hasn't returned yet when is he coming a lot of people are growing uh, uh weary they're growing impatient but we have to be long suffering because the Lord is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come into repentance. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. He doesn't want any one of us to perish. So praise God for his long suffering with us. Glory be to God. I'm going to jump right in. Uh, ch uh, John chapter 28. Marvel not at this for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice glory be to god and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation i can of mine own self do nothing as i hear i judge and my my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Glory be to God. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say, that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light. And ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he hath sent. Him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Thank you, Jesus. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Mm. Glory be to God. Do not think that I will accuse you. Thank you, Jesus. Let me turn this page. I'm sorry. Accuse you to the father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. For he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? My God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, brothers and sisters, this, I just had to, this, this, this scripture, uh, I always, when I open the Bible and, and I ask the Holy Spirit to lead me and guide me to where I should be, you know, uh, uh, what he wants to reveal to me in the Holy Word. That's how I, when I, when I go to, um, study and read the Word most times, 
Um, sometimes things are just laid out in the pages uh, are opened uh, to where he wants me to go. And I didn't turn the page. Maybe the I have the ceiling fan on or what. However it got, got there, it's always confirmation uh, because I hear from brothers and sisters in Christ that they were there that same day or, or, or maybe a day or two. You know, the Holy Spirit is speaking. If we have ears to hear what thus saith the Lord God Almighty, we will hear what the Spirit is saying to the church in this hour. Glory be to God, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to give you an uplifting and encouraging word. Don't grow weary. Let's continue to, to run this race and we will finish strong. We will finish this race strong. Go and tell somebody that you know of who were, you know, possibly rapture date setting, you know, and we have to tell them in love that, that, you know, hang in there. And, and the word of God says that, that you couldn't possibly know, you know, um, because Jesus said that no man would know. Nobody knows. Only the Father. So glory be to God. We must continue to, though, warn and witness. And, and while we're war being a warning, uh, a warning people and being a witness to people, we must not lose our own salvation in the process. You know, uh, uh, praise God for cleaning us up as well. Praise God. Because we're human. As though the Lord said for us to walk in the spirit and not after the flesh, you know, sometimes the flesh, needless to say, does rise up. Needless to say, the flesh does rise up. But when it does, all we have to do is look to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Glory be to God. So he told us to to walk after the spirit and not after the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So we have to just continue to think on those things, knowing that our blessed hope is here and we're just waiting on his glory to be revealed. Glory be to God. So hang in there, brothers and sisters. Don't grow weary. And if you do call on the Lord, he will renew your strength. Glory be to God. So with all that being said, let's continue to watch and look for the blessed hope. Shalom.